She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If this is your very first time or right now, stop what you're doing. Go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And to my notification gang, what up, though? Special shout out to my girl, Osmond Lake. Oh my gosh, girl, I am so thankful uh, for you for supporting me. Like, you're the bomb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just really appreciate you. So, thank you so much for your support. And and um, yeah, don't stop supporting. So today's video is going to be our cash envelopes video. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so as you guys know, I'm still rocking with these same cash envelopes that I've had before. Um, I just haven't figured out why I haven't changed them yet. When I get to the bottom of this, not, not to the bottom of this, like it's a mystery, but when I get to the bottom of these, <laughs> I will definitely be switching them out so I'm kind of at the bottom um, so maybe we'll go ahead and start switching them out or something like that I don't know I don't I don't know yet I just I'm just not wasteful I'm just trying to really not be wasteful and to use what I have while I got it so yeah there's that so I'm just pulling them out as you guys know I keep them in my mini which I love 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 that I love keeping them in here that it just makes everything flow and go so much easier and this is some coins that belongs in here. <laughs> and y'all don't mind my nail, y'all. It just broke yesterday and I was so sad. But luckily it was a clean break and it wasn't one of them, um, you know, well, y'all might not know if you don't get your nails done. But sometimes you can have a break in your nail just, uh, anyways. Long story short, I'm just thankful that I ain't got to have the little ugly nail. And I have to make a nail appointment because I was sick last week, so... Here we go. Let's make something shake. All right, so we got our 50s here. Set them out, set them out. We got our 20s and our 10s. And I don't have any ones, but I do have my new cash. Um, well, I guess I need to take it out. <laughs> my new change bag. I had some people asking me last time, what do I do with my change? And I was previously housing it in just a plastic bag. And then all the change I would get out of my purse and I would just put in there. But um, thank you so much, Tia. She sent me this um, cute little set. And so I can fill this one up and then as it gets too full, I can change it out and put it in this middle size one. As that gets too full, I can put it in the big one. I'm excited about it. I really am. So yeah, that's what I do with my change. I keep it in there. And um, I was previously using that for like a Starbucks fund, but um, y'all know what happened with that. So anyways, let's get into the cash envelopes. All right, so eating out, I had, this is a new month, so when we get to a new month, we usually move everything over to our sinking funds. Um, I was doing that, and I think I'll continue to do that. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, I'll take five dollars over from there, and we'll put it in our sinking funds. So, I'm just going to set that over to the side, and this is um, five, one, new pay and we'll put fifty dollars in there all right and i'm just gonna stick well actually because sometimes they don't like to cash um big bills like that so i'm just gonna stick this in here like this and boom fifty dollars so we're done with that one that lets me know what's in there oh so wrote that in the wrong spot <laughs> Shout out to my alarm. <laughs> All right, so gas um, here. Now, gas has been going up. Oh, my gosh. Gas is the highest it's ever been. So I have it at $60, and I'm going to keep it there um, only because I really can get away with the $30 still. Um, I'm just modifying um, the amount of traveling I'm doing. So I'm really going to keep that at 60 to see how I can do with that. So I'm just going to stick um, $60 in there. You know what? Let's do it like this. Let's stick that way. I don't have to split it up. So I'm doing um, 30 and 30. So that will be done there. Oh, why well, can't get it in the envelope? Okay. So five, one, you pay dollars. 
Okay. So there's that for the gas. All right. So for groceries, um, okay. So this money for groceries, I need to actually take out and put into my account because I spent money on groceries and I didn't, um, I do the online thing. So I actually need to take this money out. So I'm not going to count that and I'm going to put that in my bank account because yeah, that wouldn't be fair to count that knowing that that money was already spent. So, um, here is my grocery envelope and we've been putting 150 in there and I'm just going to start over with 150. All right. So there's three $50 bills. Sticking that in there. Five, one. You pay 150. That was 150. Okay. And then the household. I didn't spend anything from the household. I don't believe this last time. So yes, there is still a $50 bill in there. Um, so I'm going to move that over to my sinking funds because I did not spend that money so I'll add it to my sinking funds new pay I didn't have to spend anything because I'd already purchased my household items my detergent and all that stuff the last time and so this time it's time for me to buy toilet paper and I don't need paper towels so it'll just be toilet paper and probably another thing of detergent so I'm just gonna stick a, I'm gonna stick another $50 I guess I could have that's crazy, but whatevs. Okay, here we go. And that's done. All right, my personal care, as you guys know, that's my nail budget. Um, and I found a new nail lady, and I'm trying to make sure I stay in, within my budget. Um, so this might be increasing only like by a couple of dollars because I like to tip, and I want to make sure I have enough to tip her um, at all times. So I'm still going to keep $60 in there, but it may go up to like 70 just to make sure I can leave her a nice tip because she is doing the thing. So let's put, yeah, we'll put 60 like that, a 50 and a 10. All right, cool beans. I put nails <laughs> because I know it's nails. It's supposed to be new pack. Come on, girl. Get it together. <laughs> I did that the last time, too. Always because I know I'm putting, I'm getting my nails done with that. So, yeah. All right. So, my entertainment money, um, I kind of snuck into for um, my trip for some little things that I wanted to get. So, let's see how much we had left over. Making sure all of these are ones. Okay, so that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. All right, so I had $33 left over that is going to go into my sinking funds. Okay, so then we're just going to stick our, um, do we want to put a 50? Yeah, we'll just stick a $50 bill in here. That's cool. Well, no. We'll do 50 like this. Yeah. For spending purposes. Because sometimes people don't like breaking a 50 and it's weird like that. So. Five, one. You pay. $50. $50. Cool. So we've kind of started all the way over. And then we have our um, $80 here. And this $80 goes into our sinking funds. So on top of that, we're going to put um, this 50. So that's, let me just rearrange this together so we can recount it all up and get a total for what we're actually going to be putting in our sinking funds this week. Okay, so here's that 15, that was 33. Okay, so that's $163. All right, so we're going to be putting $163 into our um, sinking funds for this week, which is good because I did last time. I took that $250 out of my account um, for my parents. And um, let me just go ahead and stick this in my envelope. Um, I did go ahead and take the $250 out. And that $250 basically was for my parents um, traveling. I'm just sticking it in my envelope here. 
my sticky bonds envelope and then I'll be depositing it into um, my account that I have now um, but yeah so I took that 250 out and I put it in my parents for my parents traveling stuff and then um, of course we went out of town so I actually need to subtract some money out of that but I like I had some extra stuff going on so I really didn't have to use any of my sinking funds for this particular trip which was good okay wait so if you guys watched my video yesterday you guys saw that I actually um had a issue where I have a hundred and fifty four dollars where I'm over budget so I usually put eighty dollars into my sinking funds and then I have some extra cash left over so um, after careful consideration and getting some ideas from you guys um, we all decided that I would take it from my sinking funds. so I'm going to take this money from my sinking funds and you guys saw me just a minute ago um, add all of this into there so we're just gonna take that 154 from here hopefully there's 154 dollars here if not then I will take some from my entertainment cash envelope because that's one that I don't have to have and I can take from there so 50 50 that's 100 20 30 40 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 oh. <laughs> 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so that is the 154 there. And then that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. So I'm only putting 14 dollars into my um sinking funds this time versus the other just to make sure that I have enough money to cover so this money will just be going um into my bank account to make sure I can cover the bills so yeah I do um the way that I do my cash envelopes and my sinking funds and just my bills and all that all in one I try to allocate all of my funds so um there's actually times when I have money left over in my bank account and I kind of keep that there as a cushion so um, I won't be in positions like this I like to use up my whole entire check and this is just one of those times where I'm literally using my whole entire check so anything that is left um, that is left in my bank account from previous times before um, would just literally be a cushion to get me through but um, one thing that we talked about was not um, putting stuff into sinking funds when you actually need to pay something so it's good to have a savings but it's also good to make sure you pay your things on time and there's no sense of having money sitting up like this and I'm not really using that money at the time and I can make sure that everything is being paid and current um, on my bills so that's where I'm at with that I hope that made sense to you guys but thank you guys for those who commented yesterday and I appreciate you and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video Mwah! okay really this nail is gonna bother me so let's try it again Mwah! okay okay bye